Bert, you are too good of a person and you have too many people that are watching you for you to fuck this up. You need to get your shit together. You know you need to get your shit together and you need to stop lying to yourself and acting like it's funny that you can't get your shit together. Joe Rogan has the biggest podcast on the planet and he loves you to the point where now he's just like openly talking shit about you on almost every episode because it's almost like he's been trying to save your life for like multiple years and it's not working and now he's just annoyed and he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just talk shit about him and I'm going to say like I'm going to I'm going to literally like make fun of, like <sighs> It's so frustrating, man. I don't know why you're doing this. I understand the struggles with food. I mean, look at me. I was talking shit about saving the world and um well, so I'm going to help you with this. I'm not trying to come off bad, but I feel like somebody needs to talk to you like this because I don't know, most of the people in your life aren't going to talk to you like this because you're such a good guy and you, you do, it's like part of who you are. That it's, it's like a bit almost, but it's not a bit when you die and your kids are crying and it's only a couple years from now because you finally had the stroke that you've been freaking out worrying about for fucking for 20 years because you treat yourself like shit. It's not funny. It's not funny when all of a sudden, you know, it's a it's a hilarious joke about you dying and how Leanne would be like kind of okay with it. And then she gets to like travel with her daughters, but it's not funny. They love you. And, you know, you, you why do you feel bad that you traveled so much when you were younger and you didn't get to spend as much time with your daughters as you would have liked to because you're a family, because you love them and you know that they want to spend time with you. I don't know why you do this. You're laughing about how you had how you murdered 12 pizzas. But then you have this weird thing where you're like it's it's so weird. It's like the bit bleeds into who you actually are where like it, it's kind of still seems like you're joking and laughing and like joking around about it. But like bro, you're actually going to have a stroke. Like if you're worried about having a stroke, then you need to get your shit together. That's what that means. That's your that's your 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 soul being like, yo, I'm going to get the fuck out of this body because I can't handle this kind of like acidity. I can't handle this 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 toxic lifestyle that this man has been forcing me to to endure. You have a very powerful life force and you have and also you you you've built a fan base, probably a ton of kind of degenerates that have similar lifestyles. So, you could be a leader. You could accept the responsibility and it's not, it's not being a leader in any other way other than leading by example and just getting your shit together. That shit's so frustrating, man. It's so frustrating. <sighs> yeah, I love you. It's just like, come on, man. Don't you want to see your daughters get married? Why did you work so hard, you know, setting up your family financially so that you could die? And it's like it's like you have this idea in your head of like, you know, a year from now, I'm going to get my shit together because I am getting older and I know that I need to. But like right now, I, you know, I want to get drunk. And I want to... And it's like, again, the alcohol is, you know... I mean, I understand that, like, you haven't been drinking a lot for this short period of time when you've been home. The alcohol is, like, that volume of alcohol is obviously not good for anyone. But it's the food, man. Like, why would you, why would you, and again, I get it. I get it. I truly, I get it. I have been working out to deal with overeating for a long, like, working out too much, constantly working out when my body's in, like, a constant state of recovery. I get it. But, um, it's just very, very frustrating for someone that actually cares about you. And, you know, you wouldn't be scared of getting older if you were, like, you could, three years from now, when you're 50-something... You could be 56 or whatever it is. You could be the healthiest that you've ever been because you've been unhealthy for so long. 
Bro, well, come on, man. You're 50. Why are you eating McDonald's? Why would you ever allow yourself to eat McDonald's or pizza more than like a couple times a year? Why would you do that? You, you, like it's just at this point you have to accept the reality that it's not you're going in a in a tragic direction. Get your shit together, man. Come on, we got this.